Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey and what you're meant to hear today. So you guys, what I'm going to do for you is whenever I find like a huge tarot deal and things that I think are helpful or I find amazing, I'm going to share with you. So I was at Five Below today and I found this gorgeous book by Tina Gong. It's so great. Big, fat, juicy book filled with the entire, like I just, it's like filled with the entire deck of tarot and all kinds of things interpretation reflections and action it's normally twenty dollars this book and it was at five below for five dollars so if you guys have a five below near you i got this today um, i'm going to gift it to a friend and i also saw a big tarot like coloring and art book that i was sketching in tonight it was really really great that also everything in there i think like you know that's it all their books are five dollars or five dollars and 33 cents so really really great this book is extraordinarily helpful and it has every the meaning of all the cards and i feel like the interpretation is really lovely so that being said we are going to move on to today's cards a partnership for the new age a time to welcome it it is you know a new age partnership is like a gentle mirror that really reflects every aspect of us it helps us negotiate the path of self-awareness more easily so in this kind of partnership we feel as though we can fly it gives us the strength to believe that anything is possible that we can grow and be a mutual support to each other it teaches us that everyone and everything is unique and divine as well. So this partnership begins where desire for the other person ceases, replaced by like this tender merging where possession and control give way to letting go and freedom, right? So I feel like this card comes up because now is the opportunity to combine and merge our past for a time that will be mutually enriching. Alternatively, you are already in a partnership that is now demonstrating the required maturity and necessary willingness to reveal itself as a partnership really worthy in this new kind of world. So all we have to do is examine ourselves and do whatever is necessary in order to live and enjoy such a partnership. You know, because sometimes in, in the older model, it is, it, it, there's weird roles that are played that are now truly, truly outdated, right? We know that. So this partnership will be a mirror for all the partnerships in this new kind of world that's evolving. And it is emerging in the future. And I feel like it's the beauty and magic of reciprocity and balance and flow and just saying and thinking and feeling and being exactly who we are without falling back into any of these old roles, which I love, you know, and I do feel like um, it doesn't matter gender. It doesn't matter any of that. It's about, you know, that kind of like mutual respect and care and consideration and also bravery, right, to be who you are when you feel like you know, you're out in the world that you should just be absolutely free. So I love the cross the bridge of happiness. I love the little kind of homestead and this, it reminds me of, there's a property here in Stamford. It's actually the most expensive property in Stamford and the house is out on an island. It's amazing. And it's kind of like this compound and you, you have to take this bridge to get to it. And I thought, oh, you know, if ever I were to have an amazing, um, huge windfall, I swear to God, I would turn that into my little artist colony and people would have to boat over. Oh my God, it would just be having, we'd be having water sports all day. We'd be sailing, we'd be painting, we'd be doing all kinds of wonderful things on this island. So the bridge to happiness really is our wisdom. It leads across depths. The clouded waters of our emotions, the bridge of happiness provides a chance to acknowledge our emotions and at the same time be sufficiently distanced from them to always remain present and centered in ourselves, right? Because it is easy to just get lost in our emotions. And then, you ever been so upset you've gotten in a, a heated argument, you don't even know what was coming out of your mouth or what you said a minute later, that kind of thing. That's why we need to be centered and be sufficiently distanced from it. So it allows us enough proximity so that we never stop learning and the bridge of happiness is also a natural path it's not cold it's not warm it's not rigid it's not fragile but it it offers secure footing and I feel like why the more wise we become the easier it is to cross this bridge because then we recognize what really is um, what are we ready for what are we searching for and we're able to define and we're able to clarify and, you know, we let also let go of illusions, you know, 
um, all our constricting thoughts about happiness and prosperity that limit or hold us back. So many people think it's things, you know, oh, I'll be happy when I'm married. I'll be happy when I have a man, woman, child. Um, when I have, uh, you know, uh, I live here, the perfect location, vocation, yada, 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 that sort of thing. When it's really right now, do you, do you have joy in the things you're already doing and have gratitude for those? Because sometimes we always think it's something down the road, but it's not. It's, it's what's here, what's now, and our spiritual companions, and so many things that we think we want when we really look at it, we wouldn't really care if it dissolved into thin air because it's not really what we want when we start to clarify why we want that. And they're like, oh yeah, I don't really want that. You ever just wake up and you think, I should really go to, um, especially if it has to do with material things, I should really go to the store. And then you really ask yourself, do you need those items at that store or is it just a diversion or whatever it is? Because I find myself doing that too. I mean, even if I have to go out and I have to post something or do something, I'm like, oh, I should also stop at the store. And, get A, B, and C. And luckily, when I really listen to myself and I ask, do I need anything there? The majority of the time it's no. And then I'm led to somewhere great. Like I don't, I don't normally like end up near a five below. And I was just drawn over to the book section. I found all this great stuff. Not only spirituality, tarot, healing, crystals, um, homopathy, like every unbelievable uh, like dozens and dozens of books and I was like oh my gosh I was you know I was just kind of like following my bliss and it led me to that so I was really happy so I love this live playfully and live with a light heart listen to the voice of your inner child that's that's everything right that's you know not taking ourselves too seriously not thinking that we have to um just do the obligatory things you know what I mean it's like let's just have fun and when we listen to that child within us it's that silent language of the heart your inner child you know doesn't lie it speaks with real purity and truth and see or feel you know it's it's just it is complete authentic creativity it's complete and authentic joy in something you know splashing in a puddle feeling rain on your face again when a bird lands near you all of that I feel like that's when we encounter beautiful moments on our soul path we become freer we become fun whenever we wish our inner child is delighted by wildness and renewed playfulness and you know it also has the power to expand time you ever just been doing something and you're so fully immersed in it and it's like you feel like you could just do it all day that whatever it is I know for me sometimes if I if I start painting or making jewelry or even doing reads and looking at art and um, gardening and sitting out in my yard it's like time just kind of like stands still and we get lost in that and that's you know it's really time for that and it's weird when I listen to other people sometimes I'll hear conversations out where people are like, oh I don't have time to do this I'm like how do you not have time to do something you love how do you not have time to go to a beach or go to a park or um, l just sit and listen to music in your garden whatever it is if it's important it'll kind of that that inner child will allow for it and it's wonderful because I feel like it relaxes everything it gets us in flow state I love being playful like my house just looks like a big toy box anyway like even these right here I'm like I have this thing for bells I just love them I love bells so I'm always rolling bells around and the cats are chasing them and one time I <laughs> I got mad at the cat because I dumped over this little box I was carrying this big Baroque pearl like rolled across the floor and the cat like snatched it up and I thought she ate it and I thought whoa that sucker is like choke size <laughs> and I remember going do I even know how to Heimlich a cat is that even a thing and like my brain was already doing that luckily cats cats kind of like have that intelligence like I'm not going to try to swallow <laughs> this and she quickly outed it you know the silliness and the light and the fun and playfulness that's why I think pets are such a wonderful thing because they do bring out that playful joy I always think of when I would get home from school and um, we always had funny crazy dogs and ferrets and all kinds of stuff French lop rabbits but the dogs I love how they do that thing where they you know how golden retrievers will get down low and then they'll jump up and they'll get down low and they smack their paws they're so happy to see you that that just joyfulness and playfulness so I thought this was a beautiful connection and again you guys this is that that gorgeous soul helper oracle I just love these cards so much I feel like the artwork is so beautiful and you know the sentiments are really really gorgeous but it's all about following your vision you guys and following your bliss what do you feel like doing today I shook up things a little differently too because I know I'm trying it's very easy 
for me and so many other people to get in these habitual patterns. And then I realized the last couple of days I was sort of doing that and it was like less kind of physical movement. And I was like, so today, you know, get out and make sure you're walking around, go do your things and, you know, be physical and be up and about. And I felt better because it is a balance of everything in there. And, you know, being playful and being silly, I had a lot of laughs just out looking at people today and a lot of you guys are here too. A lot of people have messaged me. You know, I really feel like I've met someone where they get me, they truly listen, they have present moment awareness, they're wonderful, and they have that mental vitality and playfulness that we all love. So I'm really happy for all you guys. So my beauties, that is what you were meant to hear today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out. And if you guys want private reads, all you have to do is DM me at sparkrist11. I'll put everything in the description box. And I want to thank you guys for all your great feedback for everything i'm so excited the weather is starting to cool a little bit it's not you know you just feel like you can really breathe it's like that ah you know super pleasant pleasant weather reminds me of this just like a breezy cool kind of late summer's um temperature which is just perfect 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 so you guys i hope you have a marvelous day i love and light